Good morning. Welcome to the first 15. Today, we want to start our day off right, engaging God in prayer. And as we do today, we're going to allow the most famous psalm to guide our time together. Psalm 23. The first verse says it this way. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord of heaven and earth is my shepherd and he is your shepherd. We have a good shepherd and our good shepherd is watchful. He is caring and he is devoted to his sheep. You have a devoted, caring shepherd that is looking out for you today. Let's praise him now that he is our shepherd. Would you join me in this prayer? God, I praise you that you are my shepherd. And would you tell God what it means to you that he is your shepherd? If you need more time, go ahead and hit pause. The second half of the first verse of Psalm 23 simply says, I shall not want because the Lord is, in fact, my shepherd. Our good shepherd provides for all of our needs. And we see this in verse two. It says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Lying in green pastures is all about the shepherd taking the sheep to a place where they can lie down and they can get rejuvenating rest. And leading them to still water is where he's taking them so that they can get the, the drink that they need. But he knows that the sheep are skittish animals and they won't drink out of flowing or moving water. The water needs to be still and calm. So he takes them to where he knows they will get what they specifically need. And that's our shepherd towards us. So let's, let's ask him to do those things in our life today. Would you ask God to provide the opportunity for physical rest that you need? If you need more time, go ahead and hit pause. And now ask God to provide for what he knows you specifically need. If you need more time, go ahead and hit pause now. Our shepherd's provision goes beyond our physical need and it reaches into the depth of our being. In verse three, it says, he restores my soul. Let's ask God to do that for us today. Would you ask God to bring a restoration to your soul today? If you need more time, go ahead and hit pause. In verse three, it continues and it says this, he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Our shepherd wants to show us the right direction, the best direction for our lives today. And he beckons us to follow him. Would you join me in this prayer? God, Please lead me in paths of righteousness today. Help me to follow you and your ways. I choose to honor you and put you first in my life today. Thank you, Lord. The next verse, verse four, speaks of an ominous threat that is looming, but it also speaks of the comfort that we find 
in our good shepherd. In verse four, it says this, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. He says, I will not fear. Why not? Because the shepherd is with me and he has a rod and a staff. The rod was kind of a large stick that was used to defend the sheep. And it was also a great comfort to the sheep to know that nothing would get to them unless it got through the shepherd first. And the staff was used to redirect the sheep if they, they got off course or if they got stuck in a briar bush, he could pull them free and he could rescue them. So let's thank God today that he's our good shepherd that is doing that for us. Would you thank God that he is with you no matter what you face and that he is with you in this very moment? And would you thank God that he defends and protects you And would you thank God that he comforts and guides you? If you need a little more time, go ahead and hit pause. In the fifth verse of Psalm 23, it says this, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup, overflows. When he says that there's a table that's prepared for him, it's a lavish feast that he's alluding to that he's partaking of in the middle of being surrounded by his enemies. And what we see here is that God can provide for us no matter what we face in this life, that nothing can stop God from his glorious provision in our lives. And it says that he anoints him with oil. The anointing of, of oil was a promise of what was going to come in the future. And we see here that God's promises, they don't go away. Nothing can stop the promises of God in our lives. And then he says, my cup overflows that when God meets my needs, he doesn't just meet my needs, he goes above and beyond. He gives me more than enough. Let's thank God for these things this morning. Thank you that nothing can stop you from meeting my needs today. Thank you that your promises are unstoppable. Thank you that you provide more than enough for me. In the final verse of this Psalm, we read this, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, goodness and mercy are the earmarks of the presence and the provision of God. Our God is a good shepherd. He leads us, he guides us, he protects us, he provides for us, he comforts us, he restores us, and his goodness and his mercy follows us. And at the end of it all, it says in this verse, because of my faith, I will be with him forever. How good is our God? Would you join me in this prayer? God, you are good and merciful. Thank you that you are inviting us to walk with you today. We love you, Lord. Thank you for loving us 
first. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you to continue in prayer this morning. And I want to encourage you to do this, to, to open up to Psalm 23 and to read it again today. And as you do, the things that stick out to you, let those be the generator of the conversation that you have with God in prayer now. And as you do, as you continue in prayer, I just want to remind you that God is absolutely loving this time with you. Thanks for joining me for the first 15 this morning and have an incredible day. God bless.